All right, I've hit record. Got some records to share. Got some records to share, like oh, man, my interview chops, you know? That is Jeff suffering right there. 90 pound Lewis. This is a shorthand operation. It's your last record. Jeff and the gang from 90 Pound Wuss are doing their first show in 23 years this Saturday in Bremerton. Just a short ferry ride away from downtown Seattle. Scenic views <laughs> across the ferry. Looking forward to it. We got our tickets. <laughs> I was humbled and honored to have a long form kind of podcast conversation with my friend Jeff. Jeff Suffering and the Hideous Thieves, of course, 90 Pound Wuss, and Dry Bones. This is. No, I've been back and forth. Well, I've been up and down and here and there, but this time. May be in your schoolyard playing when the signal comes. That signal means to stop whatever you are doing and get to the nearest safe place fast. Always remember, a flash of an atomic bomb can come at any time. And be very committed to my work on top of like, so there's always this weird pull about like, here's all this band stuff, but now it's not like, like, now it's not like sort of like I'm sick of my job and I'm just gonna like sort of half-ass it. Now it's like literally I'm torn. Like I enjoy both right. and I have benefits to both that are beneficial for me personally in multiple ways. Like band stuff actually like is a lot more nowadays. Here's the thing is nowadays it's actually more involved in a lot of other things. Like we're not tied to a label. We don't have a manager. Exactly. We, yeah. we never had a it's manager, a but still we always had a label and an a and r person and other people to do stuff right. we'd have a record that would come out and we could tell them send it here or send it there now we're funding everything we're funding it we're we're backing it we're, we're do like there's a lot more work involved We were always very arty individuals who would sort of go with how we feel in the moment. Right. Colin's more like, I'm going to organize these things and put it together. We're going to actually pay attention to the tempo that we're playing these songs. We're going to pay attention to these things. We're going to make sure that we're all playing these same things exactly the same. So he's putting a real dynamic into um, like making time, us... time, right? Or... Yeah, everything. Like, like, as far as the song structures and everything goes... Like there's a certain element that's loose in this band and always right. has been. Right. Where if I start singing a measure early, then we're all going to end when I end because it's loose and they're sort of paying attention to me. Like right. if, if I'm the cue, I'm the cue. But now, but now right. it's like like let's pay attention to everything. And so that's um awesome. He's helped us be How is it? How do you do it with that? Because you're, well, you're the singer. You're, that's what you do. Well, yeah, there, there's certain songs that, like, if I come in early, then I come in early and they follow me. Okay. But but for the most part, like, we have to pay attention to each other more and know the songs in and out by, like, knowing there's four times here, five times here, six times here, whatever. And we did things in those. It wasn't just four, eight, four, two. Like, right. we, we would do things in threes and sixes and sevens and nines and, like, even measures like time signatures, there might be one that's all messed up and there's one measure thrown in there that's, you know, a seven measure and everything else is four, four, whatever. So like we, we did things, the songs are a little more complex than um, they needed to be. So we've also changed that to make them better. Like there's a whole element that's going on that's um, making this whole band a better, tighter. We 
we were never the tightest and most solid lineup. Although when it came to recording, that's punk rock. Though. Well, yeah, and it's fine. It worked yeah. out. Yeah. We were we were a spectacle. We were very energetic. <laughs> This time around, we're not just playing music, we're playing like really, like we were known to play fast. Yeah. 90 pound wuss. And so to play fast at middle age when you haven't done it for decades is like, we're amping ourselves and having to rehearse more than I anticipated. A, a lot of stuff is like revolved around us saying yes. Yeah. And so us saying yes has cultivated something in my mind where it's like synapses are going off in my brain that have not connected for decades and suddenly like I'm more creative I have more energy and more passion for everything in my yeah. life including like uh getting shit done around my house like how do I right. actually change it as infuses a kind of like, energy it's, it fuses, creativity. yeah this energy yeah, and yeah. so it, it reminds me of like I'm nearly 50 and I might finally be getting, for the first time in my life, like fucking bad brains and HR like talking about PMA, positive mental attitude. Like yes. I might finally be getting that punk rock thing. What punk rock thing is that? You may be asking, you're gonna have to watch, wait and see the whole hour and a half interview. <laughs> or maybe I'll do another one of these snippet videos. There's a lot of content, a lot of great stuff hanging out with Jeff. So excited for Saturday to see that show. It's going to be awesome. I usually do these things and, and, you know, I used to do a podcast with some friends and we would drink, you know, a few beers while we did the podcast. This, <laughs> this conversation, I stopped at uh, this fancy beer shop here in the Seattle area, actually in Bellevue or Swellview, if you're from around here. Um, and it, I've got this beer on clearance. I'll let Jeff tell you, because he just about cut me off, so. I mean, I've never had three, three beers. If you watch the video, impact me <laughs> as violently as during this conversation. If punk rock could be a fine fucking wine or cigar that's been, right. It's a generations of growing the thing. So by it's the way- beer that was aged in a rye barrel, <laughs> a rye whiskey barrel. That's right. I bought some beer, like on clearance, that was that was in a, a rye whiskey barrel before we got here. And there, it's it was like, sweet. it came up, that one beer was like fucking 11 bucks. And then it was marked down to a dollar. Yeah, and like, holy shit. they were trying to sell it because it's very high in alcohol content. It's like a, it's like a whiskey beer. So, so we're a little lit, as they would say, in, say that, in Christian circles. But, I don't know if it's, I think that's a normal, a in, normal saying. That's not Christianese. In normal circles, for God's sake. Lit means, that means you drink too much, so you, you need to slow down. So, so, going, slow. So, so yes, we got the whole uh, punk rock, bad decisions kind of uh, thing going on with the, the conversation with Jeff. But it's such an honor to hang out and sit down with that guy. If you want to see the rest of it have it up soon um subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet why not stuck around this long uh hang out and be a link in the description at least to the to that that whole thing uh very soon also uh this seven inch i got from jeff this is uh collaboration oh it's open already i was gonna box knife don't need that uh 90 pound wuss and the captives. Home Alive Benefit 98. And there's a 7 inch in here. Captives. 90 pound wuss. It's like an old timey crashed car on there or something. I like it. Look forward to giving that a spin. 
as well as this project uh, Jeff's been doing for a while with Joe Mondanka. This is Dry Bones. The Dry Bones LP. And there's about 300 of these available. So uh, working with Jeff on some distribution possibly for this and independent record stores. Look at that, pretty cool. 300 of these pressed, so. Super exclusive, um, collaborative uh, thing with Jeff on hopefully getting some of these distributed to some indie record stores. So there's 300 of these pressed. If you, you're out there, you know some folks in the record store business out there, you know, send me a link in the description, send me an email. And uh, maybe we could send you some on consignment. It's an honor to hang out with Jeff. That conversation in full blown chaos will be uh, up soon. Thanks for watching. Peace. Stay safe. Um, if you're not doing anything Saturday and you're watching this in the next couple days, I mean, you can still get a plane ticket. Wherever you are in the world, I don't know. It's Bremerton. I'm going to go to Bremerton across the ferry. I'll share some pictures of that, too. It's a beautiful, beautiful ride. So, dry bones. I'm going to see the 90-pound whist show. Looking forward to that. Where's the record, by the way? It's around here somewhere. Uh -huh.